you're watching the last word with me Maria Shakil the ongoing protest over Maratha quota has turned violent once again Maharashtra MLA Prakash Solanke's home in Beer district was vandalized and set on fire the protests were triggered by alleged comments against a hunger strike by pro quota activist Manoj Jarange Patil from October 25th protesters also threw stones and damaged a vehicle parked outside the home of Mr Solanke on the last word i will be decoding the agitation as it enters a new phase several mlas and mps in maharashtra have now been stopped from entering their villages i will be speaking on the experts on the show but first up the story <laughs> NCP MLA Prakash Solanke's house in Beer was set ablaze on Monday by angry agitators demanding reservation for Marathas. They also blocked roads and disrupted traffic in Beer, Solapur and Goli. Sporadic incidents of arson were also reported in these areas. The once peaceful agitation is now taking a violent turn and some say it is also losing its focus. and this demand for maratha reservation is proving to be a trial by fire for the shinde government while chief minister eknath shinde hasn't outrightly rejected it he maintains that it is a delicate matter and he may need more time to resolve it abhi jo kuch ghatnaye ho rahi hai iska bhi vichar maratha samaj ke logo ne karna chahiye kyunki ye iske wajah se andolan ko kya kehte hai ek एक दूसरी दिशा में ये आंदोलन जा रहा है सरकार अगर कुछ निगेटिव होती तो ऐसा करना हम समझ सकते थे उचित था लेकिन सरकार पूरी तरह से गंभीरता से इसमें काम कर रही है अहंगर स्ट्राइक बाई मनोज जरांगे पाटिल कोऑर्डिनेटर फॉर द मराठा मोर्चा इज एडिंग फ्यूल टू द फायर मंडे मार्क द सिक्स डे ऑफ इज एजुटेशन एंड देर रिपोर्ट that patil's health was deteriorating rapidly the government has been appealing to him to end his strike but he is refusing to budge till reservation for marathas is announced mala vaatte karu ka apne letter ka mai mai aata jo hai to meanwhile the committee under retired judge shinde has submitted its report to the shinde government the report will be taken up in a cabinet meeting on tuesday The committee has examined 1 crore 30 lakh documents submitted by the Maratha community. Of these, only 11,530 people have been found to have proof that they belong to the Kumbi community. This is less than 10% of the Maratha population. The Shinde government is mulling granting reservation to Marathas within the Kumbi quota. This has angered the OBC community in Maharashtra. The Shinde government plans to base its curative petition before the Supreme Court on the findings and recommendations of this report. Amidst all this, the opposition met the governor to demand a special session be convened to discuss the Maratha reservation issue. तो लोग ध्यान देने की जरूरत है जो मौजूद हालात हैं वो लगातार लोग बड़े गंभीर हो चुके हैं विधायक को घर घर जलाए जा रहे हैं गाड़ियां तोड़ी जा रही है लोगों को मना कर दिया है गांव में आने से ये बड़ा सीरियस इशू है इसकी वजह से काफ़ी मुश्किलें पैदा हुई है और जब लॉ एंड ऑर्डर सिचुएशन से भी गंभीर हो सकती है तो तुरंत राज्यपाल की हमने विनती की कि उसमें इंटरवीन करें और स्टेट गवर्नमेंट को भी निर्देश दें कि वो फैसला इसमें तुरंत कानूनी तौर पर करें और गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया का भी इंटरवेंशन आवश्यक है ऐसा मुझे लगता है मेरी अपेक्षा है सरकार से आदरणीय मुख्यमंत्री जी से कि वो इसके ऊपर चर्चा करें और जल्द से जल्द निर्णय करें There seems to be no easy answers to the complex issue of reservation for the Maratha community. The question is, will the Shinde government survive this trial by fire? With Rona Kude in Mumbai, Osama Shah for NDTV. Joining me on the show is uh, former Maharashtra Chief Minister Prithvi Raj Chavan. Mr. Chavan, really appreciate your time. The Maharashtra government has announced some interim measures that it will be issuing certificates to the descendants of those recorded as part of the Kunbi uh, subcaste during the pre-independence Nizam era to enable them 
uh, to get quota under the OBC category. But why is that move failing to pacify protesters? Well, that is just a, a sleight of hand. Maharashtra government had appointed a committee under one Mr. Shinde who had uh, examined 1 crore 72 lakh applications and names in a Marathwada region, which is uh, Aurangabad region of Maharashtra, eight districts. Now, out of that, they found 11,000 11, odd 500 uh, people who had adequate documentation. Now, Maratha Kunbis are already included in the OBC category, so they are already entitled to reservation. All the government has done today is just to issue, they probably will issue directions tomorrow in the cabinet, is that who of these 11,000 people who have some documentation uh, calling them OBCs, their certificate should be expedited. Now, this is their right as per the existing laws. So there's nothing new that the government has done. Now, we are talking about a state which has a population of 14 crore odd people. Maratha population is about 30, 32%. And you're talking about 11,000 people. That's not going to fool anybody. The agitation is uh, becoming violent. Uh, uh, people's representatives, elected representatives are being forced to resign. Many of them have already written letters to the respective presiding officers, uh, putting in their resignations. And uh, there is a discord in the top uh, prime muhairet of Maharashtra, the three uh, leaders, the chief minister and the two deputy CMs. Today, the three of them were supposed to attend a program in um, Yavatmal in Amaravati. The two deputy CMs did not attend. One of them called in sick, other one was missing, only CM went and attended the program. There's a huge discord at the highest level of the government and uh, the agitation is going on unabated. Uh, Mr. Jarange Patil, who's uh, passed unto death, has caused this uh, whole agitation to explode recently, uh, had earlier gone and passed and the Chief Minister went particularly personally to uh, assuage him in uh, India's uh, fast and he had given one month to government. CM had promised him that within one month I'll find a solution. Uh, the, another 10 days passed. So 40 days are over and Mr. Zarange Patil has renewed his fast unto death. It's now about a fifth or sixth day. His condition is precarious and government is completely clueless about how to handle the situation. Okay, since you're saying that the government is clueless, we did see Jarange Patil last month call off his 17-day hunger strike. And that happened in the presence of the Chief Minister of Maharashtra, Eknath Shinde. My question now is, as former Chief Minister, what do you see is a, a potential solution? Because the protest is turning violent, and if anything, the state government is also not getting any relief or support from the Supreme Court. Well, the point is, this government, particularly Fadnivis government from 14 to 19 and the current Shinde government has not taken this issue seriously at all. See, the original demand for Maratha reservation goes back to 1902, when Chhatrapati Shahu Maharaj in Kolapur state announced a reservation for certain communities, 50% reservation in government job in 1902. That's the beginning of the reservation in uh, this part of the country. Now, later on after independence, uh, Maharashtra government, uh, the government of India announced a couple of backward classes commission, the Kalilkar commission, then the Manzil commission. They did not accept Maratha as a backward and they called Maratha as forward community. But the agitation goes on. Now, for the first time after the formation of Maharashtra government in 1960, my government, when I was the chief minister, from 2010 to 2014, we gave a 16% reservation to Maratha community and 5% reservation to backward communities and Muslim community. Now, unfortunately, uh, since NCP brought a government down in uh, uh, before the 2014 Vidhan Sabha election, we lost the election and Devendra Fadnis and Shiv Sena came into power. Now, our 
ordinance which you had promulgated on July 14 was rejected by the High Court after our government went. So that was the first set of uh, reservations that my government had given for the first time in 50 years. That was in July 2014. Hmm. After that, uh, you come to 2018. The central government passed the Constitution 102nd Amendment Bill where they withdrew all the authority of the state governments to declare any community as backward community. Okay. So that was the 102nd Constitution Amendment Bill passed by Mr. Modi. Hmm. Now after that, when state had no authority to uh, give any reservation to any community, a few months later, in November, December 2018, just months before the Vidhan Sabha election of 2019, Mr. Devendra Fadnis, Chief Minister, announces a new reservation for Marathas and gives 12% reservation, which was accepted by High Court but promptly rejected by the Supreme Court. Now, hey. that law has been rejected. Now, Maharashtra government went to, to a review petition, which also stands rejected. Now, there is a demand that a final attempt at a curative petition uh, be uh, uh, adopted. Now, there is a very little chance of curative petition being successful, but that uh, way has to be that avenue has to be explored. In the meanwhile, uh, I think uh, there is a way to give a reservation to Maratha community by exceeding uh, just like the EWS reservation given to 10% people by Mr. Narendra Modi. Similarly, a 10% reservation or 12% reservation can be given to Maratha community over and above the current 10% EWS uh, reservation. This is not over and above 50% because the Maratha community is not entitled to the current 50% reservation, which is only for SC, ST, and OBCs. Okay. Maratha, no reservation at all. So if they're given 10% reservation, out of the remaining 50% or out of the reservation, I think that should, uh, that doesn't violate the Supreme Court 50% reservation norm. But I think our demand is that uh, uh, the, now since the whole matter has gone to Delhi, the Chief, Chief Minister Shinde, Fadnavis and Pawar should go to Delhi and convince the Prime Minister to give a 10% or 12% reservation to Maratha community by amending whatever the law that is required to be amended in Delhi. Okay, Mr. Chavan, my last question to you. Uh, Hemant Patil, who's a member of parliament uh, from the Shiv Sena, uh, which is led by Chief Minister Eknath Shinde, on Sunday announced his resignation as MP in support of the community. Today we saw what happened um, outside, uh, in fact, at NCP MLA Prakar Solanke's house, which was torched. The anger is clearly against the public representatives. So it's not about a particular party, one would say. Uh, the people in general feel that none of them delivered. There is one MLA, I've just heard a news that one MLA from INC, Congress Party, as a matter of chief whip of the Congress Party, has also written a letter to, uh, I think, Speaker. Uh, that may not be an official resignation because the resignation has to be physically handed over to the Speaker. But he has written a letter offering to resign or uh, tendering his resignation. So elections are around the corner next year. So people are getting agitated. And particularly, the agitation is very violent in the Maratwala region. There are um, the beatings going on in the Maratha community because the feeling that the current government has deceived the Maratha community by just involving them in talks and committees and scholarships and all that. But the basic demand for uh, reservation in government jobs and educational institutions has not been met. Now, this whole crisis has suddenly erupted because there is a grave crisis of unemployment. There's a grave crisis of Maharashtra government having announced privatization of many government jobs recently, which they had to withdraw. There is an anger in the community that, first of all, uh, the government jobs are not available, and whatever government jobs are available, they're being privatized. So there'll be no reservation for any community at all. So there is a huge anger against the current dispensation, the Shinde, Fadnavisan, uh, Pawar government, and they also don't seem to be pulling together. There seems to be a discord, and they made a dash to Delhi to convince the Prime Minister and the, the ministers in Delhi to help them out and all, but they're point blank, refused to do anything in Delhi, so I don't know uh, what the Chief Minister is going to do. What he's announced today is a completely meaningless. It says that right, that power is already there, that reservation is already there with 
whatever people they are given it to. So nothing new has been done today. Let's All see right. what they do tomorrow. All right, Prithvi Rachavan, always a pleasure to speak to you. Thank you so much uh, for joining us. Let me bring in my guests. Vinod Patel is Maratha Karanti Morcha petitioner. Uh, we have Krishna Hegde. He's spokesperson of uh, Shiv Sena Shinde faction. Krishna Hegde, uh, one may agree with the question being asked by your opponents, where is the state government? Where is the home minister? And can the state really absolve itself from the deteriorating law and order? Maria, firstly, let me tell you that we are highly concerned about the health of Mano Jarange Patilji, and we would request him to take whatever medical assistance he would like to, because his health is a primary concern. Secondly, also, let me tell you that we are committed to the Maratha Reservation. Our Honorable Chief Minister Eknath Shindeji is himself a Maratha, and in front of lakhs and crores of people, he has, in front of, uh, he has taken a promise in front of. Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj, uh, that he will uh, give the reservation to the Marathas. So on on that, uh, uh, today itself, 11,530 uh, Marathas have been given reservation under the Kumbi category on which they can uh, avail the benefits. Tomorrow, uh, Justice Shinde, Sandeep Shinde, uh, is going to submit his report before the cabinet and uh, his report will be placed and whatever decision honorable chief minister takes i am sure that okay, will then, be then in why, the then why positive. is vinod patil not convinced here is a maratha chief minister promising his own people vinod patil no you are absolutely right what is our demand hamara demand yahi hai ki pichle 7 saal ke baad pehli baar maharashtra ko maratha mukhyamantri mila hai और जो मराठा मुख्यमंत्री आदरणीय एकनाथ शिंदे साहब है जैसे एगड़े साहब ने कहा कि छत्रपति शिवाजी महाराज के सामने उन्होंने सौगन जी में रिजर्वेशन दूंगा सवाल यह खड़ा होता है कि पिछले डेढ़ साल से पहले जब उद्धव ठाकरे साहब सीएम थे महाराष्ट्र के उस वक्त मराठा रिजर्वेशन ये स्टकडाउन हुआ ये सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने इसको कैंसिल किया पहले हम हाईकोर्ट में जीते थे सुप्रीम कोर्ट में तीन दो से हम हारे तीन जस्टिस ने कहा हम नहीं दे सकते दो जस्टिस ने कहा हम देंगे फिर उसके बाद रिव्यू करने के लिए भी एक साल का समय लगा और पिछले छह महीना से हम हमेशा डेली फॉलोअप ले रहे हैं गवर्नमेंट को आपको कुछ कदम उठाना चाहिए इसके अलावा मैं आपको स्पष्ट बता दूं कि तीस दिन पहले माननीय मुख्यमंत्री महोदय जहां हमारा अनशन चल रहा है हमारे भाई मनोज भाई जहां बैठे हैं वह खुद आए और उन्होंने कहा हमें तीस दिन का समय चाहिए आज युवा जो भड़क रहा है उसकी भावनाओं को समझना चाहिए पहले अभी पृथ्वीराज चौहान साहब का मैं सुन रहा था उनके समय मिला वो मुंबई हाईकोर्ट में कैंसिल हुआ फडनवीस साहब के समय मिला और मुंबई हाई कोर्ट में टिका दिल्ली सुप्रीम कोर्ट में कैंसिल हुआ और अभी हमारे रिजर्वेशन को लेकर कोई बात नहीं होती हमारा सवाल क्या है हमारा सवाल महाराष्ट्र को और आपको विशेष रूप से यही है कि महाराष्ट्र ये एक मेव राज्य है जिसके अंदर चारों विपक्ष और सत्ताधारी ये फिर सत्ता में आए पहली बार जब देवेंद्र फडनवीस जी और अजीत पवार साहब सत्ता में आए तो वहाँ पे शरद पवार साहब और उद्धव ठाकरे साहब सुप्रीम कोर्ट गए उन्होंने उनका डिस्कालीफिकेशन किया पहली बार बिजनेस में हस्तक्षेप किया सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने उन्होंने इस्तीफा दिया फिर एकनाथ शिंदे साहब जब सत्ता में आए उनको पार्टी मिली उनको सिंबल मिला अब अजीत पवार साहब जब सत्ता में आए उनको भी पार्टी मिली तो मेरे जैसे यह सवाल पूछना चाहता है सरकार को कि पवार साहब को भी कोर्ट समझा है उद्धव ठाकरे साहब को भी कोर्ट समझा है अजीत पवार साहब को भी कोर्ट समझा है फडनवीस साहब को भी कोर्ट समझा है और एक शिंदे साहब को भी कोर्ट समझा है जब चारों लोग को सत्ता में आने के लिए कोर्ट में क्या क्या करना पड़ता है किस तरह से दलील करना पड़ती है ये समझता है पर मराठा रिजर्वेशन के लिए कोई तो भी कदम नहीं आप सिंसियरिटी क्वेश्चन कर रहे हैं विनोद पाटिल जी आप सरकार की सिंसियरिटी क्वेश्चन कर रहे हैं आपको भरोसा नहीं है कि वो डिलीवर करेंगे मुख्यमंत्री नहीं इसीलिए भरोसा नहीं की समय काफी हो चुका है और इसमें नई बात कुछ नहीं है आज जो सत्ता में आए ये दो में विपक्ष में थे फिर ये सत्ता में आए अभी फिर विपक्ष में गए पहली बार ऐसा हुआ है कि चारों पक्ष मेरे महाराष्ट्र में सत्ता में आए हैं और सभी लोग मराठा है उनको हमारा दुख दर्द पता है और उनकी खुद की जब बारी आती है तो सुप्रीम कोर्ट में क्या क्या करना पड़ता है उनको पता है और उनका समय निकल जाता है तो कृष्णा हेगड़े द पॉइंट हियर इज दैट इफ द कम्युनिटी द मराठा रेजर्वेशन दो डिमांडिंग इट बींग रिप्रेजेंटेड बाई विनोद पाटिल if they do not have faith in the political class because if you look at the developments they have banned the entry of politicians to villages over 400 villages have passed resolutions in the regard while some have written to the authorities about their decisions then how will there be 
talks. I mean, what is the way out of this? हम विनोद जी के भावना समझ सकते हैं। We understand the sentiments of the Maratha brothers and sisters, and we are committed to their reservation. However, I agree with Vinod ji that this thing is taking time. We are delayed by ten days. We are given a time limit. However, we are working on it. That Vinod ji cannot dispute that we are working on it. This entire issue is going on since 1980. Since 1980, Sharad Pawar Sahab has been the Chief Minister of Maharashtra four times. He's been a Central Minister. He's been Leader of Opposition in the Lok Sabha. He's ruled Maharashtra for 17 and a half years. The Congress Party was in. In uh, ruling in the center and in the state for over 60 years, see what we are not blaming anyone or playing playing any blame game. Hmm. But I want to tell you something that whatever today the Maratha are getting reservation through the Kumbhi certificates of the Nizam Shahi area, or whether uh, you know the three member justice uh, committee has been formed, whether uh, tomorrow their reports are coming in front of the cabinet, and whatever positive steps are taken have been taken in the last one year, uh, but. Our concern today is Manoj Jarange Patil's okay. health, and also the reservation for our Maratha brothers and sisters. And we are committed to it. Committed to okay. it. Our chief minister okay, so, and both so, our deputy chief minister. So temporarily, after after this subcommittee that has been created on Maratha reservation and these caste certificates that are being issued, uh, Vinod Patil ji, you still feel that there is no sincerity of uh, Shinde government. आई वी आर जस्ट फेड अप ऑफ ऑल दिस थिंग्स मैं आपको स्पष्ट बता दूं कि वही बात दोहराई जा रही है सरकार की ओर से आज जो निर्णय हुआ ये निर्णय 25 साल से महाराष्ट्र में है कि जिन किसी के पास प्रूफ होंगे जिन किसी के पास डॉक्यूमेंट्स होंगे दे आर इलिजिबल फॉर द सर्टिफिकेट उस पर कोई नई बात नहीं है और साढ़े ग्यारह हजार का फिगर ये जो बार बार बताया जा रहा है ये गवर्नमेंट का फेलियर है मैं आपको स्पष्ट रूप से बता दू मराठवाड़ा जहां से मैं आता हूँ हमारे पे पहले औरंगजेब का राज था फिर निजाम का राज आया उसके बाद महाराष्ट्र गवर्नमेंट आई हमारे पास रिकॉर्ड नहीं है क्योंकि हमारे पास जब जमीने नहीं थी हम रिकॉर्ड देंगे कहाँ से इनको समय किस लिए चाहिए मैं एगड़े साहब के द्वारा सरकार को ये पूछना चाहता हूँ अगर आपको मालूम है कि हमें समय चाहिए फिर तीस दिन के बाद आपने क्यों की अगर आपको लग रहा है कि अभी हम बहुत जल्द कर रहे हैं और आपने जो नाइनटीन की बात करी मैं नाइनटीन के रिजर्वेशन में बात नहीं कर रहा हूँ जो जिस सरकार में आपके साथ जो उप मुख्यमंत्री बैठे हैं फडनवीस साहब उनकी सरकार ने ये दिया है और मराठा समाज का युवा क्या बोल रहा है कि नई चीज कुछ नहीं आ रही ये पिछले तीस दिन में आप प्रोग्रेस रिपोर्ट समाज के सामने रख सकते थे हमने क्या क्या किया आज भी कुछ नई बात हुई ही नहीं है हेगड़े साहब हम टाइम बाउंड प्रोग्राम चाहते हैं कब तक हम रास्ते की लड़ाई लड़ेंगे कब तक हम अनशन करेंगे अड़तालीस से ज्यादा युवाओं ने बलिदान दिया है हम हमारे प्राण कब तक गमाएंगे सवाल यह है रिजर्वेशन आप दे सकते हैं आप कदम उठा सकते हैं क्यों नहीं उठा रहे लेकिन अगर अगर सुप्रीम कोर्ट का कैप है तो उससे व्हाट इज द वे आउट देर इज वे आउट अगर मैं थोड़ा स्पष्ट बोलू सुप्रीम कोर्ट का कैप बहुत सी चीजों में है फिर ईडब्ल्यू रिजर्वेशन जो लोकसभा ने दिया उसमें टेन परसेंट की जो मर्यादा है उसके आगे जाके लोकसभा ने एक्ट किया सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने माना हम पिछड़े है इसके हजारों एग्जाम्पल्स है वो सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने माना अभी सवाल यह है कि जो रिव्यू में ये नहीं कर पाए वो क्रिएटिव में करेंगे क्या और इनके पास जो जो ऑप्शन उपलब्ध है आज इन्होंने सब कमेटी की ये चार महीने पहले भी कर सकते थे ये किस चीज की राह देखते गवर्नमेंट में मेल नहीं है तीनों पार्टी अलग अलग घोषणाएं करती है तीनों पार्टी के बयान अलग अलग है मराठा समाज टाइम बाउंड चीज डिमांड कर रहा है पिछले सात साल से आठ साल यू यू फील that the government which is functioning at present in maharashtra is not in sync the political parties that are running the government are not in sync they are not at all serious about my issue if they might be serious they are not done time pass and with a very 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 clear thought i want to put on the floor that this government is came from the court back government was also came from the court okay. and in maharashtra four people four parties enter in the government by the through the supreme okay. court decision only they know the court better so, than me better so than my colleague so you feel that there is a what way out what they are doing what they, they are why they are not doing the thing which okay. they had did All to right. form the vinod patil and krishna okay. agre really appreciate your time thank you so much and now let's take a look at how these protests have been going on for months remember protesters have been demanding reservation in government jobs and educational institutions a quick recap of the protests that have been going on and i'll be seeing you tomorrow thanks so much for watching
A big dilemma for the Eknath Shinde government in Maharashtra after days of protests by the Maratha community that has been demanding reservations in government jobs and educational institutions. The opposition has supported the protesters with NCB President Sharad Pawar demanding that the centre remove the 50% cap on quotas and raise it by 15 to 16% to accommodate more communities. In November 2018, the Maharashtra Assembly passed a bill proposing 16% reservation in education and government jobs for the Maratha community. Devendra Fadnavis was the chief minister then. In June 2019, the High Court upheld the reservation but asked the government to reduce it from 16% as recommended by the State Backward Classes Commission. But in May 2021, when Uddhav Thakre was chief minister, the apex court held that the Maratha reservation was unconstitutional and struck it down. For the Shinde government, it's a tightrope walk. Any fresh move on Maratha reservations may upset other OBC communities. How soon is the big question? Bureau Report, NDTV.